Hey, beard lovers. Hey, beard lovers. Clone, get to the alligator pit. Everyone asks how they can make a clone like me. So, finally I'm going to show you how to make one of your own clones by showing you a free way to print in 3D. This tutorial was taken by the awesome work found at this Instructables article, so be sure to check it out. If all you want to do is download and print your own Wheezy waiter head, go ahead and click here to skip to the end of the video. To begin this project, you'll need a front picture and a side picture of whatever object that you're wanting to use. Now to convert the image to 3D, we're going to need a 3D modeling program. I'm going to be using Animator because it's free and it's easy to use, which is just the way I like it. To print the 3D models, we're going to be using Pepecura, which will allow us to create and print the models for free, but you just won't be able to save them. Just the way I almost like it. I'm not going to go into too much detail on how to use Animator because I've already created a tutorial on it, so be sure to check out that video if you want the full scoop on how to use it. The first thing you want to do in Animator is load the front and side view reference images. So go to either the front or side views and then go to build reference image and then click load, select your corresponding image and then click OK. Repeat this for the remaining image. To see how both images line up you can switch to ortho view. To move an image click on that image and then click the move button. You want them lined up so that the back edge of the side view touches the side edge of the front view. To orbit around the view, select Arc Rotate and then just click and drag in the view to rotate it. Now we can begin modeling. Switch to either side views and click on the Point Editor Edge Select and Add Edge buttons in the toolbar. Hold down the Shift key and starting with the nose, click and drag a line along the contour of it. Now just click on either side of that line to start another line. Continue this until you have the whole front half of the face outlined. Switch to the front view and you should see the line that we just drew directly in the center of the picture. If it isn't, move the picture so that it's centered with the line. Then back in the point edit edge select mode, begin outlining the contours of either half of the nose using the points that we just made. Only work on one half of the face and then later on we'll mirror it to the other side as well. After outlining the nose, in the front view choose the point and select buttons from the toolbar and then click on one of the points on the nose that you just created. Then switch to a side view, click on the move button and click and drag the point so that it lines up with the side view as well. Then switch back to the front view and choose another point. Continue this process for the remainder of the points. Then choose Edge Select and Drag Select from the toolbar and drag a rectangle over all the points and hit Shift J. You should see all the points fill in. So if you click on the Smooth Shaded button, you can see what the shaded model looks like. You want to continue creating lines and points and shading them until you have the entire side of the head modeled. When it's completed, click on the arrow button and select your model. Go to Build, Mirror and click OK. You should now have an entire head. To texture the head, with both halves selected, switch to a side view and click on the Materials button and then double click on New. Make Ambient 1, Diffuse 0.5 and everything else 0. Then click on the minus sign beside Ambient and click Load Texture to load this side reference photo. Then click OK. Click on the minus sign beside Diffuse also and select the same side texture and then click OK and OK again. You'll see the photo load onto the model. To move it around so that it fits, click on the UV mapping button and then use the left, middle, and right mouse buttons to stretch, move, and rotate it. When you have it perfectly aligned, switch to the front view and with point edit selected, click the face select and select buttons. Now you can right click to select the main features of the face and then double click on new to add a new material and repeat the same steps to add the front facing photo to the model. When you have your modeled head the way you want it, go to object export to save it as a 3ds file. Then open up Pepecura and go to file open and select the model that you just saved. 
Once it loads, click on the Specify Open Edges button and you can begin cutting your model into pieces by clicking on some of the model's edges. It's better to make your pieces larger than smaller. And then when you're through, uncheck the Auto button and click Unfold. Now it should give you the option to resize your model. I enlarged mine so that it was 1 foot tall or 304 millimeters. After clicking OK, you'll see how the parts fit on the paper. So now you can go to File and Print to print off all the pages. When it's through, you can start cutting out the pieces and pasting them together. Be sure to use Pepicura as your guide by right clicking on the right side and selecting Check Corresponding Faces and it will show you where each piece goes. So this may seem like a long and arduous process and it is. But if what you're wanting is to be able to print something cheap in 3D, then this is the perfect free alternative. Alright, be sure to check out Tinkernut.com on Tumblr, Facebook, and Twitter. That's it for this tutorial. We're going to go to Tinkernut.com.